Hey, well, I just wanted to come on and speak to this. Does Meghan Markle's ambition equate to her talent? And as we can see over the last six years, and I'll take that in because that's where I've had the biggest, I suppose, moment to process and analyse who Meghan Markle is. First, she rocked up into the UK with a yoga mat under arm with this projection of this, this modern day feminist type who, who captured the eyes of the prince, the once loved prince of our nation and how we've seen that all spiral out of control. We see Meghan Markle in her pre-life before Harry, an actress on Suits, but not the leading lady. Even though dad was there in the lighting industry within those circles, she never quite made it up here, which would say the talent is more so here you know but obviously she she married Trevor who was another producer and she's had a few roles but she again she's not your Julia Roberts she's not your your Nicole Kidman she's just a backup an extra a few scenes a season or two is it seven seasons on suits I don't know but what I'm saying is her, her A-lister stance was not really stamped in that well. You know? <laughs> so we know the talents, although she was in the circles with the people that could open the doors, did not push through. We've heard constantly on a loop about this story of this 11-year-old girl with a soap pad in this letter. But what happened since then? Surely that stepping stone of this moment of wanting to create great change would have propelled you into the unknown. It would have, it would have inspired you to continue. But no, it's just that, that moment in time on a loop of when Megan stepped out in her classroom amongst her peers together but she takes that and she uses that because that's all she has to her name quite obviously otherwise we hear many stories just like the soap ads but that is her what seems to be and what she shares to me only claim now we know she's got ambition. We know she's got ambition in droves. She wants to climb that ladder. She wanted to get on top and she will step on anyone and everyone to do that. If that means shifting her dad out the way and not seeing him on his poorly estate. We've watched her literally trample over a dying queen and still speak in that way, knowing she was at home so poorly and weak. Her husband's nan. But she carried on, because that ambition just pulls her through. We see Archie well, in the words she spoke, in the mismatch, in not turning up for interviews, and, and, and that ambition. But here's what she got with the royal family. A pillow, handed, almost with a crown. This is it, your magic key. You're on top, instantly. She could have done and chose with this stage so great to do anything with that royal family name. And what has she achieved? What exactly has she achieved other than pain, torment and misery for anyone watching on, for anyone being affected by her as she continues to garner, to desperately, that ambition, that climb, Where's Netflix? The book, The Bench. There's so many projects there. Arrow. But they're never met. The talent sits here. The passion sits here. The ambition, I believe, in my opinion, from a humble person speaking to you, who quite frankly didn't have any ambition in life myself because I grew up in domestic violence and in my 11 year old story was searching a graveyard for a gravestone to find a safe space for me in my life. I didn't have any ambition until I discovered myself in healing and speaking about the aftermath in my story and then that ambition, that passion in that group because I really wanted to help another and that is my only thoughts in how I can achieve that and do that. That 
propelled me to create and feel that ambition. But Meghan Markle got given the platform and the stage to be anything she could, to help anyone she could. But she chose not to. So in the backlash of everything that's happened, we have all these broken down projects, half attempted tries, to which when that ambition is not fed, when she's not got the million followers in an instant, she gives up and moves on to the next. And that's the thing. The ambition pulls her to do these things. The talent is lacking and will not let her reach these things. But also there's this unawareness or inability to want to learn from another because that ego keeps facilitating that ambition so great. And any talent just seems to be in treading on another to reach that ambition so heavily placed in her you know so yeah I suppose that's all I gotta say on how I don't think the talents here will meet the ambition up here and the person she is she don't seem to be able to configure and understand and sort of bring it halfway because there's two extremes like I've said before the victim the abuser the high elite or the poverty stricken there's never a moment where Megan will reflect on herself with stuff she's learnt in life because she has one target and one end game and one goal and that's placing herself on top but she don't learn to get there. She don't want to dedicate and spend time. She just wants to be there because the ambition is calling her up there. But the talents, she hasn't got the ability to grow and learn and strive to achieve, to be there because there's no passion in it. She just wants to be there. But again, it's just my opinion, my thoughts shared to you, like a true movie review of everything they place out on literally kind of pay-per-view, you know? <laughs>